Hey everyone, welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. We're here with Soul Asylum. We're welcome. very lucky. Welcome. Hey Hillary, how you doing? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. We're on tour. And that's yeah, you good. Are. <laughs> What's the first song you're going to play for us today? Well, I think we'll try. Uh, we'll try. Never really been. I think. Sure. Yeah. I'll just switch it in the middle. Yeah. If that's okay with you. Cool. Whenever playing? you're ready. Yeah. Sirens are screaming, shots ring out at night Ooh, the camera's rolling in And there goes my hero with his head between his legs and all this time I believed in him Now what is the sound of snow falling down? Pound, who speaks English when the watchman's not inside? And where we be 2023, still sitting in the same chair, and he is for sinners, and I'm just a beginner, but I've never really been punched there. Hey, ain't it strange how some things never change? Ain't it strange how nothing stays the same? You were thinking I was distressed about some universal press, but I was just depressed about my last pinball game. I've learned to accept and not to expect Respect and neglect that I get And I try not to forget about what hasn't happened yet And on this I place my my last bet And did you get what you get? Did you get what you give of your fair share of wear and tear? Never really been touched there. You know it's hard to be nice when hate becomes your vice, and you can't find peace anywhere. Yeah, lost is not for lovers. Get off your high horse, brother. Drop your fist and get out. Get out of here. you guys it also sounded great so tell us a little bit about the new record um came out about a year ago uh mm -hmm. it's called change of fortune mm -hmm. what should we know well it is probably the most fantastic record ever made obviously mm -hmm. that's i have to say that actually. yeah it's part of my <laughs> um it's pretty cool because we learned how to make records all by ourselves so we just took Everything that we've learned from working with all these great producers and coming out to fabulous places like New York where they have tapes on shelves and things. They're and real, too. Stuff. They're real and they're reels. You get it? But anyhow. Uh, so we kind of put it together in a very modern way by you, you sort of... I'll make demos in New Orleans, and then I'll send the tracks to Michael in Minneapolis, and he'll, this is drumming, and he'll I got you. turn my drum parts into like real drummer drum parts. And then, um, you know, then, oh, I don't know, Winston's in New Jersey, so we'll send him a track, and then Ryan will come over and we'll mess around with it and kind of 
it's very odd. I mean, it's so odd that our next record, we're going to just do all analog and play live in the studio because we've developed this modern method of recording that, uh, you know, it's really fun because we're doing everything ourselves. Uh, I don't, I don't know. It's not very objective because you can, you can fix it. I don't think it's it. supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. You One can of the fix things I... everything. <laughs> One of the things I did read, though, was that um, it seemed like there was like a communal sense of like being disenfranchised that that was felt with this record, but all kind of throughout like your band's career. Um, I was wondering if you could elaborate on that sentiment a little Welcome bit more. Welcome to my world. Is that what you mean? <laughs> you know, it's uh, I mean, the thing about punk music, I think, is that it has a lot of alienation in things like that where you're just you don't feel accepted i guess and uh i think that fueled the sort of creative direction of the band from the get-go and uh once i started discovering woody guthrie and bob dylan and and leonard cohen and people like that it it didn't seem that outside anymore it seemed more like there is a universal quality to uh well, not just BSing your way through a song about dancing and screwing and stuff. Totally. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the next song you're going to play for us today? This next jam we're going to play for you is called Black Gold. Two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Sure like to be 
feel so pride, but this place just makes me sad inside. Thank you for playing that one. Uh, obviously, we all loved it, as did a bunch of folks tuning in right now. So. Oh, thanks. Thanks, you all. Um, I saw, I was looking at your uh, social media, been following you on the internet. Um, you've been posting a bunch of like old reviews that you've dug up or like old Rolling Stone Who's covers. Who's doing that? I don't know. It's not me. <laughs> I'm just going to give you all credit for that. Um, a, it's amazing. But B, um, I was wondering kind of how you balance that kind of nostalgia with, um, you know, trying to live in the moment, live in the present, but then also kind of what you were saying, like looking ahead to the next record, um, the, you know, the next tour, any new music. How do you kind of, I don't know, it's balance It's actually this very sentence. convoluted right now because we're reissuing the Twin Tone Records, which is yes. the label we started out with. And they want bonus tracks and outtakes and things like that. So, I'm, I mean, this is a perfect example. My friend Janine was just like, oh, well, your collection doesn't seem that bad because it doesn't look like this. But this is terribly organized. I got, you know, that. Uh, uh, I think I talked to the archiver earlier, and he told me it was very organized. Of course it is. Yes, of course. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's dat tapes and cassette tapes and all this different kind of stuff. And to kind of be going backwards and listening to things is, it's, it's just like I'm trying to go forward and listening to the past is not nostalgic for me. It's embarrassing. Uh, I was Why is that? I don't know. I, I like the stuff between songs. I'm very irreverent and very punk rock, and I didn't realize I was so abusive to my audience, but that's kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, and then we're reissuing uh, Grave Dancers Union, which is its 25th anniversary, which just makes me feel incredibly old, which, of course, I'm not. And, uh, yeah, I mean, people are, I guess, naturally nostalgic, and it's not necessarily healthy for your creative uh mojo or something so we're trying to stay you know relevant and fresh and all those things <laughs> well you've got one more for us today what's the last song you're gonna play i don't know should, should we play something off the new, new record okay this one is called don't bother me oh <laughs> so you got this move i got it okay you just do it i'll come in Took her time, then she took mine. But it don't bother me. No, it don't bother me. She gave me a nickel. She said it was a dime. But it don't bother me. No, it don't bother me. That I ain't lying Oh, I'll just go on trying But these are better days than yesterday So why should I bother looking for trouble? Trouble will always find me I'll figure it out one way or the other Not gonna let it find Sweet time, as far as I can see, as far as I can see, she took my life, 
far as I can see In the eye of the beholder So much colder As far as I can see As far as the eye can see Now where I once had a vision It's just endless indecision These are troubled waters we survived before So many times before So why should I bother looking for trouble? She took mine But it don't bother me No, it don't bother me Well, I just go on trying well, I ain't even lying But these are the ways I've seen this go before So many times so many times before so Why should I bother Looking for trouble Trouble will always find me I'll figure it out One way or the other Not gonna let it bother me Why should I bother Sick moves, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so oh, you. I didn't show you my new move. I was going to show yeah, you last night. It. It's kind of like that. <laughs> what do you think? I, I like it. She, I mean, what is he going to say? Teach me your you, ways, you my friend. Do, you just should just do don't that. Do anything, but don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. So, like you said, you're on tour right now. You've got a few more dates coming up. Um, Port Chester tomorrow night here in New York. Uh, where, else, where else can folks catch you live? Well, they can catch us live uh, anywhere they want. They can have us come. Me and Ryan will come to your house and play some songs for you. We're playing a pretty fun show in Plymouth, Minnesota with Guided by Voices and the Suicide Commandos, who are my favorite local band when I was smaller than I am today. But, uh, yeah, anywhere and everywhere, I mean, we try to be out there as much as we can. I don't know. We're, we're, we've got a few more shows on this thing. We, we're doing a tour with Cracker right now, which is a good, a good match. It's we're fun. also friends of yeah. Paste. So. Yeah, it's great. Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for yeah. coming in. It's not any day we get the one and only Soul Asylum in the Pace Magazine office. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you.